What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own samples in Logic Pro 10. Now the first thing I'm actually doing here is I started off with a sophomore instrument track and then I, um, under instrument just went with a default patch. And I just had the uh, classic piano, electric piano up here. I'm going to push Command K just to get up our uh, piano so you can see what I'm playing. I have a uh, MIDI keyboard. And so usually what I do is, is just kind of play around here until I find like a basic um, progression. So we can start off with something like that. So I'll just little hit, go ahead and lay that down. And as you can see or hear, I messed up sometimes some of those notes. It's not as necessary to come in here and um, change any of these. I don't always have to do that, um, but I might come around here and take this one note out here. And I'm also gonna go ahead and quantize this. But what I wanna do is do a one over 16, I mean one over eight. And I'm gonna put a swing on that. Turn the strength down, let's check it out. Okay, so cool. We had that. Let's keep it going. Uh, now what I would do is take this and then just drag and drop it into this um, gray area here and put it into the quick sampler. Once it's in the quick sampler, I can do a couple of cool things. I can go ahead and push this follow tempo. I can actually change the tempo, you know, go faster if I want. And I can play it at different, you know, keys. Actually, sound like that uh, Beyonce song, but we're gonna have to flip it some more. So I started off with one thing, came back in here, resampled it, and I have another. That's pretty dope, but what I'm gonna do is sample this again. And I actually just like resampling and sampling until I just feel uh you know good enough to go ahead and move on. So same thing here, I could do this. I could I also come over here and see what it would sound like reversing it. So at this point, I have two different samples. I have one that I can use as a reverse. Or I can push forward right here and I can use this as a forward sample. So let me do this. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down. And actually I don't even have to do that. I can just come over here since it's MIDI. And extend this. And Forest Legato. And 
And what did I do? Okay, so one of them I reversed it, and one of them I keep it going forward. So you can see, basically, after I have that, I can right click on each of these and bounce this down. And it's gonna turn into a wave file. So now I got two samples right here that I could use, or that someone else actually could use and chop up and put into their, you know, their dolls. That's that one. <clears throat> then I have the reverse. So that's that, I mean, and, and outside of that, man, you can come over here and add effects. So that's another thing I would do on this. So like one of the first things I'll probably do is go ahead and EQ it. I might, you know, roll out some of those uh, lows, take some of the, that out, take out some of the highs. I love going ahead and adding. Um, actually, I put some of this on there. Um, this RC twenty. Plugin right here, but you know, there's plugins from all over the place. We have, but actually, this gave me real, something real saucy. Then I can also put like a re uh, reverb on it of a hollow room. And I'm gonna use this smack attack basically as a limiter. So I'll put that on here. Um, and I'm just gonna push this clip right here on there. So I could do basically these same plugins. I could put this on this other sample that's reversed. And then I can just bounce this down two different ways. I can do it one with effects, one without. I can do one without the reverb, one with. And so actually what I'm gonna be doing is going ahead and throwing this sample along with a bunch of others into a new loop pack. So be on the lookout for that, man. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead before we end this video, show you how I would export these out. Um, so first things I would do is Go ahead and do another bounce in place. So this one's on, I already have the effects on it, but it doesn't have the effects actually here. Then you can do another bounce in place. We could do control M right here and then do another bounce in place where you do it without the uh, reverb. So I could say, uh, let me first off save this. Just did a B version as well, so I can get rid of some of this other stuff that I'm not gonna be using. But I'm basically gonna do the same thing here. So we'll come over here, bounce it in place. This is gonna have all the effects on it. And then we'll do it one more time without the reverb.
And then from here, I could pretty much just name these. Then I'll push Command A to highlight everything, then push Shift Option in to name it here. Then I would do a Save As, do a one more folder right there, delete everything else except for this. And then let me just click off of this. I'm taking this guy, going all the way over here like so, and then we're just gonna take these stems and we'll just export them going uh, Shift Command E. Okay, so I exported it. Now I should be able to go in here and find it. Yep, it was right over here, so. So y'all, man, this is the, the video for today. I just wanted to show y'all um, basically a, re a sample, resample. Uh, for basically sample and resample um, process to make your own samples. So you create your own melody, then sample it. Then you recreate a melody with the sample that you created, <laughs> resample it, you know, and there's it's more layers to this, but it's pretty much what I wanted to cover in today's video, man. I have some stuff on the, in the uh, coming up very soon that y'all are really gonna like, man. A real good surprise, something that's gonna actually help you to make um, uh, melodies, um, drum patterns, different things like that. Um, real simple, and so I'm gonna be sharing that with you all shortly in a couple of videos, hopefully. So be on the lookout for that, man. Go to my site, bemakingbasics.com. If you um if you would like to meet with me one on one, you can do that there. Go ahead and just go on one on one lessons. You can book some time with me if you want to uh, go and uh, get courses. I have courses there that you can get. Um, we have a course bundle deal where you can get everything on the site for a real a reasonable price. We also have loot packs and kits and stuff. So go to the site. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel if nothing else. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.